Today we're doing a little show and tell. So if you want to catch the deets on these new super lightweight butterfly locks and step-by-step -step illusion braid pattern, grab your notes and stay tuned. Today's video is brought to you today by my favorite Amazon vendor, Belief Hair. They sent over their new super lightweight butterfly locks. These handmade locks are 12 inches long and come with six packs of hair in each order. I ended up only using five packs of hair on my model today, so six was more than enough for one head. Each lock has several loops to give it that fluffy butterfly effect. The loops are flexible so you can adjust how big or large you want them. And if you wanna cut this hair shorter, you can do so without the hair unraveling. At first glance, you might say these are the generic version of what we know to be large distressed butterfly locks. But I believe the intended purpose is for these to be very lightweight easy to install and easy to style. For the install today, I'm going to do what many have called the illusion braid pattern. I've used this pattern countless numbers of times the braidless way with rubber bands, but today I'm gonna to show you how to do this without rubber bands. I've started by sectioning off the hair from ear to ear so that we have a front and a back section. To keep each side symmetrical, I'm starting the first row at the top of the head by parting directly down the middle. I'm going to essentially end up with five rows on each side. For the first row, I'm going to part a box like I would do for a box braid, then braid it as a single individual braid. Then I'm going to part the next box, but this time I'm going to connect the first braid to it. I'm going to continue doing this until I have even boxes going straight back. For the next row down, I'm going to brick lay the part by parting the box off from the box above it. This will act as a guide when I get ready to install the locks so the locks lay between each other and not on top of each other. I'm using the usual shine and jam throughout the braid down, but I'm going to use this edge control for some added hold for her edges. Remember guys, swoop those edges, don't braid them edges. I like this particular edge control because it doesn't leave a flaky residue or cause additional buildup. Once finished all my rows in the front, I'm going to connect them into larger braids in the back. When I get to the end of each braid, I'm going to crochet the ends of them into the next braid. For this pattern, I don't want big bulky braids at the top of the head. So I'm focusing on tucking the ends towards the back filling in spaces so that they lay as flat as possible. Also, I want you to note, I'm crossing the braids at the top to help fill in any gaps at the crown.
Her scalp is on the dry side, so I'm going to give it a light spray with this braid oil. When it came to installing the locks, I thought I would run into issues with tangling when you pull through the loop, but I actually didn't have that problem at all. It was very easy to pull through. If you do run into tangling, I would advise not pulling through with the crochet hook, but opening the loop with your fingers and trying to pull through with your fingers. But other than that, I didn't have that issue at all. Also, normally I would strongly advise installing the front first because sometimes you may not have enough hair on hand. But in this case, I knew I had more than enough hair so I started from the back for purposes of this demo. Installing the front is pretty self-explanatory. We're simply using the illusion boxes as a guide. I always check to see how the hair looks pulled up. If you see there are too many gaps or visible braids, I will just add in more locks to fill in the space. This braid pattern has so many benefits because it's useful for not just locks, but other twists and crochet braid styles. Most crochet braids you can wear up to two or three months, but if you're like me and you like to switch it up often, she can simply take these out and reinstall something brand new without ever having to take her braid pattern down. You can even wear this braid pattern underneath wigs. Y'all know I love a fast install, and this one only took me one hour and 30 minutes, beginning to end. Like I mentioned before, if you want to cut this hair, you can do so without it unraveling. For all my parents out there, this hair is perfect for your little ones. It's super cute, lightweight, easy to maintain, and style. A link to this hair and all the products used will be listed in the description box below. Hit that like button on your way out and subscribe for more content like this every Monday. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.